Hi there, this is Phil Legata. I'm a developer evangelist at Pusher. The purpose of this video is to answer the question what is Pusher, but also to provide examples of the sorts of functionality that Pusher makes it possible to achieve within your web and mobile apps. Following on from this, there'll be a number of other videos demonstrating how to get up and running with Pusher, including some basics like connecting, subscribing and publishing. Okay, so what is Pusher? We're a hosted service. Companies like Twilio and SendGrid and Topbox are other examples of great hosted services. The point of services like this, and of course Pusher, is to offer infrastructure as a service. Specifically with Pusher, we're offering a real-time infrastructure for communication between your application servers and clients. Clients can be web browsers or mobile devices or anything else that has a connection to the internet. Because we're a hosted service, we're massively scalable. This means we deal with scaling, so you don't have to. Our focus is to be as quick and easy as possible to use. With that, we understand the security aspects of having real-time infrastructure, so we offer that as part of our service and ways of ensuring that your application is secure when using Pusher. We want developers to spend time building stuff, applications, features, enhancements and not downloading, installing, configuring and maintaining infrastructure. So what are real-time apps and the purpose of real-time technologies? So real-time technologies offer, to start off with, opportunity. The technology has been used for around 11 years, starting in finance, where real-time delivery of data matters. The opportunity that this technology provides meant that traders could instantly act on sources of information and make crucial real-time decisions. Following on from that, the technology provides convenience, the convenience of information being instantly sent to your end users. Imagine having to open up an SMS application and check to see whether you have any new SMS messages. Imagine having to check your phone to see whether or not you had any incoming calls. Of course, we don't have to do that because our applications our devices instantly inform us as soon as there's a new SMS message or as soon as somebody's called us. We live in a world where information is pushed to us. Also using the technology, it's possible to build interactive experiences. Interaction between users and systems or between multiple users. We could be talking thousands or millions of users. If you look at Twitter, or Facebook, they're great examples of interactive experiences. And with those applications built on real-time technologies, such as Pusher, you can build engaging experiences. Experiences that keep users coming back and keep them immersed within the application. All this functionality is powered by real-time events. And Pusher is built with evented real-time architectures in mind. We make it easy to build real-time applications. So, what are the uses of real-time technologies? Everything is data, so that's the fundamental use. We're delivering data. From that, people build notifications, activity streams, interactive experiences like chat, social TV experiences, second screen applications, collaborative applications like Google Apps, and multiplayer games, to mention just a few. First, let's look at data. Data that complement your application. Data that's core to your application, think real-time stocks and share visualizations, think betting applications, um, think real-time web analytics, and then the data can actually be the content for your site. Let me provide you with an example. Let's go to the ITV news site. They've redesigned to focus on, on a live news stream. Here's a simple example of actual notifications. The application's been notified that two new pieces of news are available. This news has actually been delivered to the app. It just hasn't been shown yet. If we click on the notification UI, the new news items are shown to us. Also, if we go to the ITV sports page, 
this is some historical information, but if you look at the layout of this page, if I go all the way down here to when the game was actually in play, you'll see that it's all snippets of live content that have been delivered, including advertisements. During Euro 2012, ITV used Pusher to deliver this live content during matches. Here's an example of activity streams, both on Get Glue and Feed Camp. The point of activity streams is to make users aware of things that they've already registered interest in. And Get Glue, it's friends that they follow. In Freed Camp, which is a project management system, it's information about projects that they're already involved in or to-do items that they've already commented on. Again, if you think of Twitter or Facebook, they're really good examples of activity streams. And Pusher makes it possible and really easy to build that sort of functionality. Collaboration example. This example is an on-stage add-on for MailChimp. It allows multiple people to collaborate on the same newsletter at the same time. This could be designers, marketers and CEOs, developers, all working together to build the same newsletter. They can work and collaborate on a synchronized to-do list and also chat in a peanut gallery. Multiplayer games. Whenever a new technology comes around, people want to build games with it. Real-time web technologies are no different. Here we have an example of a massively multiplayer Scrabble game called Word Squared. That allows people to be playing against thousands of other people to quickly place tiles and score points. As with any multiplayer game, the real-time aspect really increases user engagement. On the next slide, we can see part of a world map. So if you think about this, there could be millions of people playing this game all at the same time against each other. Okay, so that's an overview of Pusher and some of the use cases. Pusher also makes it easy for you to build these applications in a number of different ways. As I've said, we're a hosted service. This means that we deal with the infrastructure for you. We have two types of endpoints, a RESTful endpoint and a WebSocket endpoint. The RESTful endpoint is for publishing information and the WebSocket endpoint is for both publishing but also, more importantly, receiving information. Users using the WebSocket connection, a persistent connection to Pusher, which we manage to instantly receive information. We have libraries for a whole bunch of technologies, JavaScript for web, iOS, Android, .NET, Silverlight, Ruby ActionScript, Arduino and many more, and server libraries, PHP, Ruby, Python, Node.NET. Cold Fusion and more. We also offer tooling. On the right hand side you'll see there's a debug console. This is available within the Pusher dashboard and lets you see when people connect, disconnect, send messages and various other pieces of important information about your application. At Pusher we're championing WebSockets as the best solution to real-time bi-directional communication between a client and server. In the past, there's been a number of hacky solutions umbrellaed under the term Comet. Some of these technologies are still in use. However, WebSockets were designed so that Comet solutions could be made obsolete. We add a layer of abstraction on top of WebSockets in our client libraries so that you can use the publish-subscribe paradigm. You can subscribe and publish to channels, and on those channels you receive events or you publish events. Here's an example of subscribing in the JavaScript library and there's an example of publishing from the PHP library. We'll go into that in more detail in other videos. So that's Pusher, hopefully that provides you with an overview of what we offer, that it's easy to use, that we provide tooling that make it it's simple to build applications using Pusher. So sign up for a free sandbox account now at pusher.com and you can get me um, via at Legata on Twitter or phil at pusher.com.